Good afternoon. My name is Nico House, host of the political radio show Mikasa Sukasa. And um, I urge you all to join our One Follow One Dollar campaign where we show the mainstream media that we will no longer need their services and we will uh, make a statement saying that we will support our independent journalists if you all will continue to keep refusing to report uh, the honest and objective truth. Um, also, hit that notification button below, the notification bell right beside the subscribe button to get updates when we make a new video. Um, so, for those of you who do not know, yesterday, a former U.S. attorney from uh, New York, Attorney McCarthy, actually came out and said that the circumstances surrounding Imran Awan's indictment did not, did not and does not make sense on a plethora of levels. Whether it be that he um, is not being, the indictment does not mention the fact that he tried to escape the country. Um, whether it be the fact that, it does not mention the fact that the wife escaped the country. Um, it doesn't mention the fact that the, uh, I mean, it's, it's a lot of bank fraud, but it doesn't actually get to the root of the issues. In fact, it, the, uh, McCarthy, the former U.S. attorney, says that it actually looks like it went out of its way not to mention certain things. But one of the things that was discussed is the fact that it seems as if the indictment is trying to purposely avoid discussing core issues that the defense will actually use to its advantage going into court. So that made me start bringing up questions about who actually files the charges. And for this particular scenario, the last person to sign and file would be the U.S. Attorney of the District of Columbia, Channing Phillips. Now, he's a Democrat. He was appointed by Barack Obama in 2015 of October. Now, funny enough, this guy just happened to be the counselor for Loretta Lynch, literally right before he was appointed as the U.S. Attorney for the District of Columbia. Oh, but it gets better, ladies and gentlemen. He was appointed right before the Benghazi situation took place or before it started ramping up. So what, whenever the hearings were happening and it seemed like nobody was being held accountable for their actions, because we know Loretta Lynch wasn't going to do it because it would damage the party and she was told to do otherwise, this would be the guy to then go forward with the, the mountain of evidence that we had in any situation and make sure it got dealt with. The stagnation comes from Channing Phillips, U.S. Attorney of the District of Columbia. The, st the stagnation for these hearings, like the, the, they say, oh, there was wasted tax dollars. The wasted tax dollars comes because the letters were sent to him the info and all the, the facts were sent to him, and he was refusing to indict. He could have actually indicted Hillary Clinton for the email situation, but he refused to do that. There's a lot of things that he could have did in this election, but he refused to because his job is to play his part, um, and we see where his alliances are. He was counselor to Loretta Lynch. He was appointed directly by Barack Obama, and w this guy is the same dude who has decided that Imran Awan isn't a flight risk, that Imran Awan could get bailed out with all the risks that come with that. Yeah, he has a, he, he can, his passport's gone. Okay, and he's, a, he's an international criminal. He can get a fake passport. That's not hard. So the U.S. attorney dealing with this case is known for stagnation, known to have clear relations to the, this little Clinton mafia, if you will. And it's very clearly looking like he's setting up for basic indictments that will result in little to no time and indictments that won't actually, um, and indictments that won't actually bring anyone else, bring anyone else's matters, in particular Debbie Washington Schultz, into the mix. Because we all know Debbie Washington Schultz is connected to a lot of different people. So once again, the Clinton Mafia strikes. We'll see how it takes place going forward. Um, I'm not very confident, to be totally honest with you. I'm not very confident in um, the handling of this, that in the handling of this Imran Awan case. I'm not confident. 
I think that he's going to skate. I think they're going to do a plea bargain and nobody else will be brought into it. So we're going to get screwed again. Thank you all so much for watching. Turn on your notifications. Donate to the $1.00 campaign at the link below. And always remember, find your balance.